Good morning, African Stars International School learners. My name is Teacher Yoma, your nature science teacher for grade four. Welcome to your first nature science e-learning lesson. Our topic for today is living organisms. Under living organisms, we are going to focus on the adaptations of animals to different environment. Now, if you remember when you're talking about ecosystems, we said that different ecosystems have different environment. Now, some of the environments have harsh conditions. And when you're talking about harsh conditions, we are referring to maybe environments that are too cold or too hot or even too dry. Now, animals have to find their ways on how to adapt to these harsh environments. Now, today we are also going to discuss now about four animals and find out on how they will adapt or they adapt to their environment. Now, our first animal is uh, squirrels. Now, these animals during hot weather or when it's hot, they move out of the heat and then they go in their barrels and lie flat on their stomachs so that they can cool down. Now we have um, an African ground squirrel. Now this one uh, uses its tail to shield itself from the sun. As you can see it here in the picture, now its tail is, is bushy and like it's able to provide it with shade. Our next animal is a weaver bed or let's say weaver beds. Now these are just very small beds. How they survive to their environment? they build communal nest now communal meaning of course they are able to to be accessed by many birds so like many birds uses these nests okay now they use them to shade them or to protect them or to even keep them warm now uh, this is just a picture that shows what uh, a, a, a communal nest our next animal is a side wider edda. Now this one is just a type of snake. Now this snake uh, has eyes on top of its head and then it's able to, so let's say it's, it barrels itself under the scent and keeps uh, its eyes out né, so that it can watch the prey. Um, I mean, when it's not under then, of course, they will just run away from it. So that's how it does it. For it to be able to get its food now it also move uh, side widening to prevent itself from overheating now this is just a picture of it you see how it moves like that okay uh, our last animal for today is the sand diving lizard now this one is called sand diving because of course it's able to move through the sand and how it survived through its environment it holds like two feet in the air at the time now it does this to keep uh, itself cool okay when it's hot the activity for today it is found on page 155 I mean 115 in our textbook platinum nature science textbook um, and it's like a practical investigation which I divided into two parts part one is what you're going to do in this lesson so you are just going to find out how different animals move and feed. So like you go around your house and identify three different animals. Okay. So in number one, you name your animals. In number two, you tell me how many legs do these animals have. And you also, in number three, you tell me how they move and also how quickly they move. Okay. That's it for the activity. We have come to the end of our e-learning lesson for today. Thank you. Take care. Keep safe and wash your hands and avoid crowded places. I thank you. Oh my God.